Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Code Tover Day 1, 2023. <laughs> In this video, I am going to show you how to first scaffold your flows in MuleSoft from an API specification. So I am not going to go through the design in this video. I'm just going to show you here. I have a to-do API, super simple. I actually created it using the visual graphical user interface in Design Center. All you have to do is to just click on, oh my God, this is taking forever. Just click on create a new API specification and then select guide me through it. And you will be able to see this beautiful, beautiful interface. So anyway, we publish this to Exchange and we can go check it out right now. All right, so here it is. Let me just check it out really quick. So I have the endpoints, the to-do, which has a get and a post, and then the ID, which has a get, put, and delete. So five methods in total. Now, first, I'm going to show you how to do this in AnyPoint Studio, because as we know, um, AnyPoint Code Builder is out now in beta version, but still. So first, let's do it here. Once we open the IDE, you will be able to see here there's an option called Create a Mule Project. So let's click on that. This will simply ask us for the project name. Let me add my, well, to-do app. Yeah, to do app. Um, and then this is literally how I put it to do app. And then here in under import a published API, or let me zoom in. Here you will see um, at the top of that where it says API implementation, you will see that there is this option called scaffold flows from this API specification. So I am going to check that out. So leave it checked. And then here import a published API import a RAML from local file or download RAML from Design Center. Whichever you want to do, you can just select it. In this case, I'm going to select import a published API. I believe this is from Exchange. Yeah. So if you click on the plus, you will see this from Exchange. Or if you have this in Design Center, you can just go here and get it from the location at Design Center. You can click on this. But I'm just going to use the one from Exchange. So let's select this. I will have to re-log in here because this is not my current thing anymore. So I'm going to click on add account and then put my credentials here. All right, sign in. There we go. So now I can look for the to-do API. And there we go. My to-do API. In my case, the publisher is Streamforce23 because <laughs> that's the name of the company that I selected for this um, free account. So click on add, and this will add it in this side right here. This is version 100, so we're all good. And click on finish. Once this is downloaded, we can just click on finish, or if you want, you can change the default location using this right here. And after you click on finish, this is what you are going to see, basically it will have a main flow. So if you go here to search main mill, you will see just one flow in this case called my to do API. And this is the flow. It has the HTTP listener, the API key router, and these are the created error handling already for you. So you don't have to do anything with that. Here's the API console. You can remove this if you don't use it. And then here we have, we should have five different flows because we had five different methods, right? So we have the put to do's ID, delete to do's ID, get to do's, just like that, get to do's ID, and post to do. So we have our five methods, which are like the same that we have here. Here we have get to do's, post to do's, get to do's ID, put to do's ID and delete to do's ID. Unfortunately, they're not in order, seems like, but it's all right. We already know what they are and they already come with some transformation messages for you. So you can just use that instead of having to come up with your own deal with code. 
In this example, you have attributes.uriparams.id because we are using the URI parameter ID. Also, in my API specification, some of these have a specific example. Like if we go under to do slash ID and we go to the get method, so get add to do, we can go here and we will see an example of a body. So if we go check this in get to do's ID, we not only have the attributes URI params.id, we also have this payload that is going to be returned if we run this application right now. Also, if you go back to this first transform message, you will notice that this is actually creating a variable called ID, which is pretty cool. You don't have to create a new variable. You can just use this and this will have the ID URI parameter from your API specification. Pretty neat. All right, because I'm trying to do short videos, this will be just the thing that I'm gonna show you in this video, just to scaffold this, which you already saw how to do. In the next video, I will show you maybe how to re-scaffold it or maybe how to do it in a point cloud builder. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the rest of the month. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.